everybody welcome back to my channel today here it is pretty rainy and cold but hence why it's not as bright as normal but I want to do this video because I've had these items for about going on a week and I want to take them out because I want to display them but I wanted to unwrap them with you and show you what I got go ahead eat your popsicle mama so first I'll start with Marshalls I always go to either Marshalls or the uh, TJ Maxx slash Home Goods combo store. Those are the two stores closest to me. They're easiest to go to. This haul actually, um, I went one day and then my husband went another day by himself. So he found some of these things. One thing in particular he found for me. It's a little bit of a funny story that goes with it. So when I get to that, I will tell you. Now right here, I usually insert the clip of me hunting. I don't have much, but I will insert it here. It's um, when I was inside the TJ Maxx Home Good combo store. And the reason I don't have much is because it was just a quick pop in visit because we were in the area for something else. And I just couldn't ride past without going in just to see. And so I did end up finding some good things. And I didn't have my camera at the ready. So I don't have much. But anyway, I'm going to insert that for you right here. Through 
as far as for a trade on this. So we'll see. I still have the sticker on it. Um, so I can always take it back if I happen to find the other one that I want. But in the meanwhile, I'll hang on to it. Um, so yeah, have that. And now this one has a little little funny story of it with my husband. So sometimes um, after work, like if he gets out a little early or whatever, and he has some errands on that side of town, he'll pop into the stores for me to see what they have. So this particular time, he popped into a Marshalls that we usually go to. And I have my receipt right there. Um, he popped into a Marshalls that we usually go to. And he FaceTimes me. Now, normally when he FaceTimes me, he has his earbuds in. So, you know, nobody else can hear me talking. This time he didn't. So, um, he was, like, showing me what they had. And he said that he, like, saw out of the corner of his eye that it caught, like, somebody else's attention. So, she came over. And she basically was, like, trailing him around the store. And this item he picked up, showed it to me. I was like, mm, no, I don't want to put it back. That's not exactly what I want, the one I want. So, he put it back. And then um, we had gotten off the phone. Now, knowing me, <laughs> clearly as my husband does, I've changed my mind before and then sent him back to get it. So he sent me another text and he said, after we got off FaceTime, he sent me a text. And he said, are you absolutely sure you don't want it before I put it down? So I'm like, hmm, you know what? Actually, like, get it. Yeah, let me get it. So then he was like, okay, because, you know, this lady is hovering around, like, waiting for me to put it down. So I was like, what do you mean? So he called me back. He said, yeah, I had you on FaceTime so she could hear you. And she heard you tell me to put it back down. So then she came over. And he had actually placed it down, but then he picked it back up because he said he wanted to make sure, you know, that I didn't really want it. So I just thought that was so funny. And I was like, oh, you know, was she like our age or, or an older person? Because the stores that we go to, usually it's like an older crowd that are in there for the Ray Dunn stuff. He's like, no, you know, she was our age. And he was like, it was pretty funny because, like, I knew... Like, she was, like, trailing me trying to, you know, watch to see where I put it down. Because she heard you say on the phone, like, to put it back. So, I just thought that was funny. Anyhow, so, this is this one right here. This is another one of the plaques. And it says, as you can see, good vibes only. And this one is really cute because, as you can see, how this one is, like, left to right. And this one is, this one is, um horizontal and this one is a vertical layout so I really like that difference and I just like these words I wanted these words on a mug I have them on one of those water bottles um and I really like that one so I was happy that he did like call me back and be like are you sure so this one I'm going to display in my front room amidst like you know, my plants, I have like a couple little wooden sign mixed, mi signs mixed in with my plants. And I have one of the ideas that I found in the Facebook group is that they put beads on here. Some people put like ribbon or something to decorate it. I have in my little craft stash, I have like some wooden beads, some hand carved beads, some stone beads. So I'm just going to like trick this out. I have some crystals. I'm just going to make it look like really cool. Put that on there, and then I'm going to display that in the front. I think I'll do, like, a little tour when I do my plant tour to show, like, how I, um, all my different Ray Dunn planters, and then to show how I decorated this. So, I'm definitely happy, um, that he went back and called and get this one. So, this one, I'm very happy about. That other one, I'm on the fence. I still have the receipt, so I can take it back, but I'm hoping that I will be able to trade with somebody locally for the one with the saying that I really want because I found it online and she was basically selling it for retail but the shipping was just like the shipping was literally the cost of the item so this retails for nine dollars she was selling 9.99 she was selling it for ten dollars plus eleven dollars and fifty cents shipping and I'm just like I've done selling and shipping and stuff like that because I have an Etsy shop so I'm pretty familiar with like Mama, don't put the popsicle on the couch. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm very, I'm familiar with, um, you know, shipping rates. And I'm just like, are you sure that seems pretty high? Because although this is this clay and you want to, like, wrap it up nicely so that it doesn't break, it's not that heavy. So, anyway, I didn't do that. Um, so, I'm just hoping that I will either find the same that I want in the store or I'll find somebody who is willing to trade. So, 
this is that. Um, that is everything. Let me just wrap this up a little bit here. That is everything from Marshall. So now, on to TJ Maxx. Let's see. Now this is going to be from the shopping that you saw in the clip. And I was really excited about this because I have like set things that I shop for. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, they just want everything. I really don't. Um, I like, like I said, the planters, the garden related stuff. Like I'm on the search for those garden um, markers. They say like grow thrive that you stick into the plants. I would really love to have those. I have one of the glass bottle misters um, that I showed in my last haul video. But now I'm seeing that they have the ones that are actually the white clay with the large words on them as opposed to the clear glass one, which is the one I have. So I'm also on the hunt for that. I just watched someone else's um, haul video. I can't think of her name. And she had one of them, but she bought it on Mercari. <laughs> That's my daughter saying hi to you guys. She bought it on Mercari and she paid $25 for it. Um... Plus $5 shipping, I believe she said. So I'm not interested in doing that. It retails for $9.99. I understand the whole resale game. I'm not offended by it. It doesn't bother me. But I just choose not to partake in it because the markup is too high. A couple dollars, you know, okay. I don't mind paying for shipping because I look at it as you shop online, you pay for shipping. I'm just not into the whole, like, triple, quadruple markup thing. I'm not doing that. So... Anyway, so I was in um, the Marshall's Home Goods. Don't touch that, Mama. TJ Maxx Home Goods. And I was so excited. These right here. It was a stack of them. This was the earliest we had ever been in the store. It was around noon. So they were like actively putting stuff out. They had the, whatever you call those, um, the tanks, I think everybody's calling them. They had those out. They had a bunch of items on there as well. But I passed on those because they just weren't what I was looking for. But I really love the black pottery. I just love it. It's just, I think it's the best looking out of the whole collection. Like, I just really like it. I think it's sleek. And not even necessarily the ones that have, like, the Halloween sayings on them. I'm not really interested in those. I just would really like to have, like, all the black stuff. So, I have this one. And it says cereal. I got two of those. All right, stay over there. Let me finish, okay? That's my son. And here's the other cereal one. So I got a set of those. And I have, this is my second time actually seeing these in store. The first time my husband found them. You can get my Can you go play the guitar in the back so I can finish, please? So my husband actually found them the first time. But um, I didn't get them. Then when he went back to get them for me, one of them was chipped, so he didn't get it. And somebody actually ended up buying the chipped one as well. So that was like months ago, and I haven't seen any more of the Black Bull since then. So I was super excited when I saw them. I was like, okay, I'm getting two of each. There was actually four of each. I'm going to show you the other style, the other word I got. There was actually eight bowls in total on the shelf in the black because there was two of each of the sayings. So I just got two of each. I didn't buy all of them. I got two of each saying, this one says ice cream. So I got two of the ice cream and two of the cereal. And yeah, I was very excited about that. That's definitely, where's that other bowl? These are definitely my all time favorite. I want to eventually collect like all of the black stuff. Like I want one of the cheese plates. Obviously I'll go for like the canisters, the mixing bowls. Like, that's really what I'm on the hunt for. So that's why it's easy for me to go often and I really don't spend much because they're harder to find. And I only get the things that I really want, if that makes sense. So, here's the other ice cream bowl. So, we have those. Those are just so nice. And again, I will use these. They won't just be decorative. I will use them. I may not give them to the kids, though, because, I mean, I don't want them to break. I have other... They're little separate character dishes. They're in like that melamine material. They like to eat on those. So, And then, as I was going to the front register, we were waiting in line. And I don't know how the home goods are, where you guys are from, but the line is always crazy. Like, 
I've even I'm oftentimes I'm found things, I'm and depending on how long the line is, I have a conversation with myself like, okay, how much do you really want this? Because am I willing, are you willing to wait in line? So they had a setup. You know, they have like that little last grab stuff. And there was a setup of mugs. And so I was going past, you know, because the line was moving. And this caught my eye out of the corner. I'm like, okay, no, wait a minute. So I stopped and I was looking. The lady behind me wasn't too happy, but whatever. It was only like a minute or two. And I looked through. Hold on, my mom. I'm almost done. I was looking through and I found these. So let's hurry up because my daughter is getting restless. So I found this one right there on that display. This is a black one and it says coach. Now, to be honest, do I really care for the word coach? No, but this is my first black mug. I found it on my own and I wanted to have it. <laughs> I've been looking at Macari and everywhere to see if people would like drop down to retail almost for the mugs. And I've never like gone through with it to get it. Okay, my mom almost done. I've never gone through with it to do it. So I was happy to find this. My very first black mug. And it's actually, I paid $5.99. I've seen other people say that they pay, they've paid $6.99. I'm still short. I was happy to find this, my first black mug. So, I have that. And then, lastly here I have, oh, the lady who wrapped these, like, taped it up and everything. I never had anybody wrap them that well. That was nice of her. This I also found right there in that section with the mugs. And this is the out of the office one. And I was excited to find this one because I've been watching a lot of haul videos lately. Excuse me. And seeing people put like on Instagram, oh, in search of this one and that. So it was cool to find something that a lot of people are saying they're looking for. And I like the letters and stuff as well. So I have that one. So that's everything that I found. Um, I'm pretty much, like I say, I'm on the hunt for the black stuff. So it doesn't come by in my area as often. So although I go out looking often, I don't purchase all the time. So it's still fun for me to look and, um, you know, see what I can find. Run into other people and see how, like, weird and funny and sketchy they act in the stores. <laughs> so I want to keep doing it. Like I said, I want to get the whole black collection, hopefully. So that is my plan.